Um, and the third important point is, if you are going to interpret your dream, it needs to be a natural wake. We can't interpret a dream where an alarm has woken us that infiltrates or the dream has not completed, the meaning behind the dream has not fully come through. So we're misinterpreting if we don't do a natural wake interpretation. Interesting facts, dream lengths last between 5 to 20 minutes. Average is around 12 minutes for an average dream, even though it might seem for ages. <coughs> the average person has between 3 to 6 dreams per night. And within all our sleep times, we probably dream for two hours in the evening. Most dreams are during what we call our REM sleep, which is the rapid eye movement. Um, and it's a stage of sleep which, in terms of activity, closely resembles the waking brain. Here is a PET scan of our brain. Here is the first one, when we are awake. The red components of the brain um, are the active parts of the brain, compared to normal sleep and then in REM sleep. So we are very active in REM sleep. In a lot of cases, our brain is more stimulated, more active than what it is in the wake periods. And that, of course, explains why dreams are so vivid and so lifelike or story-like. My favourite person? Not. <laughs> um, Freud was an Austrian neurologist and he is known as the grandfather of dreams. And he's known as the grandfather of dreams because in 1899 he was the first person to actually publish a book on dreams. And it was called, Interpre I think, Interpreting Your Dreams? Interpretation of Dreams, 1899. The reason he's the grandfather is because all his contemporaries, neurologists, psychiatrists, did not hold any significance to dreams. So he was the first one to start putting some meanings to it. Freud believed that dreams were manifestations of our deepest, darkest anxieties, our deepest, darkest fears, our deepest, darkest desires, all of them. He tied dreams and everything, every theory he ever did, he tied it to sex. Nowadays, there's a lot we still hold in terms of what Freud proposed, but his, um, I guess, penchants for the sex of everything we've sort of moved on from. Today, many experts believe that there's not just one theory to dreams. There are multiple reasons why we dream. We're going 